makes me feel good cooking Italian food and sharing it with you. So I'm gonna continue that today with chicken parm. Now, I taught you how to make chicken cutlets, I taught you how to make tomato sauce. This is the perfect way to build upon both of those lessons. Chicken parm is just breaded chicken cutlets, good tomato sauce, and cheese. I usually make it with fresh mozzarella. Today, I'm gonna make it with a combination of low moisture mozzarella for that meltiness and the look that it sort of gives of that traditional chicken parm. A little bit of fresh mozzarella to kind of add a little bit more flavor, and then Parmesan cheese, which is just necessary in the dish. I also wanted to show you a different way of breading the chicken. My chicken cutlet recipe creates smaller pieces of chicken, and a traditional chicken parm is one big piece. Instead of making a giant breading station, and since I'm only cooking for one, and since you may be only cooking for one, now I'm gonna show you how to make one chicken cutlet without so much waste of egg and flour and breadcrumbs. It's an idea I saw from Chef John on Food Wishes. Guy's a legend, um, so I'm just gonna steal this trick and share it with you. So let's get into chicken parmesan. So I got my breaded chicken cutlet here. This is a much bigger piece of chicken as opposed to smaller pieces. I did this by slicing open the side of the chicken breast to allow it to open up. I slipped that in between a Ziploc bag that I just cut the sides off of so I could open it. With a rolling pin, I began to flatten it, but I'm not banging down at it. I'm sort of banging at an angle to push away. And I sort of just want one even slice, but I don't want to go hard at it. The harder you hit it, you risk tearing it and breaking it to shreds. You kind of want to get it as thin as you can without destroying it. So basically, it's all of this. I got my cheeses. It's just paleo, low moisture, whole milk cheese, ball of fresh mozzarella, parmesan, and I got my weekday sauce. I'll leave links to the chicken cutlet video, the weekday sauce down below. We have all of our things ready. Basically, just gonna go fry the chicken cutlet off, and then we're gonna just assemble the chicken parm, and then that's that. You know, I've never had it with fresh mozzarella and palio, but I like it. It sort of gives you the best of both worlds. And I mean, chicken parm is chicken parm. Happens to be my favorite go-to meal when I eat out at any Italian restaurant. I don't do that often, but finding a good chicken parmesan is one of my favorite things. But you know what? You could just make it better. I'm just trying to make you an Italian. You're gonna be Italian by the time I'm done with you. Italian food is so important to me and I just love Italian food. It's so simple and it can be so delicious when it's done right. Appreciate you being here. Leave a comment down below. Tell me something interesting you wanna see that's a basic and wanna get better at. I'll see you on Thursday.